Okay, in this presentation we are going to uh, prove this uh, Laplace transform from first principles. So the function we're interested in here, uh, interested in, is shine of AT, which is hyperbolic sine, okay, of AT. And we go on to show that the Laplace transform of that is A over S squared minus A squared. Okay, so now the important thing to remember is actually the definitions of hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine. Okay, so this is sine in this instance, but remember uh, a lot of what we're doing here actually can apply to hyperbolic cosine, cosh, if you actually just were just careful with signs. So it's important to note that uh, shine of at, hyperbolic sine of at, is equal to e to the minus at, sorry, e to the at minus e to the minus at over 2. Okay, uh, for cosh, just actually change that minus there to a plus. Okay, so let's actually just sort of from first principles, uh, uh, this is the, the, the fundamental calculation. This is f of t here, what I have in the brackets. Okay. So f of t times e to the minus s t dt, that the integral of that from 0 to infinity is the Laplace transform. Now, so here what we're going to do is actually f of t in this instance is e to the minus a e to the at minus e to the minus at over 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually break this up into two parts. Okay, first off I'm going to take out this half here, which is our denominator of 2, and just actually express it as a half outside the integral, and leave it there until the end. Okay, so e to the at times e to the minus st, that is a minus s times t, okay, minus e to the at times e to the minus st dt. So I'm going to break it up into two parts uh, and two separate integrals and just combine them together at the end, okay. So let's have a look at integral 1. e to the at times e to the minus st. What I'm going to do there is just actually re-express that as uh, e to the minus s minus a t, t dt, okay? Now, um, this sort of actually just a sort of, it, it just sort of makes, it brings into focus uh, what we need to do, okay? So it's, this is actually just following, the, 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 the knowledge about how to do this actually just came from proving uh, uh, easier, uh, Laplace transforms from first intervals, uh, first uh, first principles. So it's actually I'm just following a pattern I used in uh, previous videos where I expressed it as follows: s minus a, minus s in brackets, minus in brackets s minus a t. Okay. Now the integral of that is e to the minus s minus a t, and just watch out for the brackets there, over minus s minus a. Okay. Uh, from 0 to infinity, and just remember the t there. So we're going to evaluate t, let t equal to infinity and t equal to 0. Now this is just always important to remember, okay? e to the power of minus infinity is 0, okay? So when we evaluate this entire expression where t is into an, equal to infinity, okay, then we let it equal, then the whole thing becomes uh, 0, okay? So minus infinity. Now that actually is sort of partly the justification why we express, why we have a minus sign here. So we just need to be able to do that, okay? So we need minus infinity there, or minus t, okay? So that's why we expressed this expression here in terms of minus, in brackets, s minus a, because we need a minus times t just to cancel that out, okay? So that entire expression becomes 0. When we let t equal to 0, uh, e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So this entire numerator becomes 1. Okay. So we have 0 minus this expression here, 1 over uh, minus s minus a. The, the minus is can two minus signs cancel out. So altogether we have, have 1 over s minus a. A nice simple expression to work with. Okay. Uh, for later on, okay? So what we have to do is something similar for integral 2, okay? So I have minus s t my times minus a t. Now, again, it's sort of very convenient to express in things in terms of minus because it actually, the minus infinity, that cancellation will ha help us here. So essentially, a very similar calculation. In fact, it's almost identical. And rather than s minus a, we have s plus a 
So again, each of them when we let infinity a t equal to infinity, this in, our entire expression becomes zero. When we let t equal to zero, this entire expression becomes one. And simplifying as follows, almost identical to the last time around, zero minus this fraction here, one over s, one over minus s plus a, where s plus a is in brackets. Okay. So the integral for the second part is one over s plus a. Okay. So. We have our two integrals now, 1 over s minus a and 1 over s plus a. Let's just actually sort of recap where we need to be. We have calculated those two integrals. Just watch out for this minus sign between both of them and also the half there. Okay. So let's actually just finish that up. Okay. So the Laplace transform of sine shine at equals a half of 1 over s minus a minus 1 over s plus a. Cross multiply. Okay. So the denominator is s minus a times s plus a. And actually, I feel I went a bit too quick there. But the denominator, s squared minus a squared, is essentially s minus a times s plus a. The difference of squares uh, calculation. So the numerator is s plus a minus s minus a. So that gives us, like, the s's cancel out, s minus s. But plus a minus minus a gives us 2a, okay? So we have a half of 2a over s squared minus a. Sorry, just bring that in shot. The, uh, and then half and the two cancel out. So that means we are left with what we are looking for. The Laplace transform of shine at equals a over s squared minus a squared. Job done. Great.